So welcome to Anatomy for Back Bends 101. We need to make sure that the deep back muscles are prepared for the deeper postures. So we're talking about uh, longissimus dorsi, so Shalavasana is a good posture that you can do to get those muscles to fire up. Then you get into uh, multipedals there, right behind the spine. So lifting opposite arm and leg and twisting helps. You do it on both sides. And then once you feel ready, you can get into the deeper back bends. So we would start with the upper back. You can use your fingertips, roll the shoulders up, back and down, getting into the upper traps. And then plucking the shoulder blades together and down and pressing the inner shoulder blades together and forward to get into the middle back. So that's lower traps. We're also getting more into the lats, lats in this dorsi. Then walking back, you can get more into the lower back, quadratus lumborum. So that's the lower back muscles, squeezing shoulder blades together and down, lifting up, you can breathe into the chest. And then you press the feet down to get your glutes to fire up. So that would be your Bhujangasana or Cobra. If you want to get more into King Cobra, then you can also bend the knees. That way you have to shorten the hamstrings even more. So we're contracting, fire up the hamstring muscles. And also we get the glutes to engage, to lift the knees a bit higher. So breathe here and maybe you can again walk the hands back, roll the shoulder blades together and down, pick up the chest, breathe into the chest, create more space and roll the shoulders further back and down to get more into the upper back. And it's just the glutes that have to fire up even more to get the feet to the head. So just stay here and breathe. And maybe you don't get all the way to the feet the first time, but that's the way to get there. So this is how you start getting stronger with your back muscles. You just breathe, you get the right muscles to fire up. And if you want to get more information about all of this, then feel free to join my yoga teacher training, which is actually bilingual yoga teacher training. You get to learn all this terminology in English and in Spanish. You don't need to speak both languages, but it's good to have some knowledge of both so that you get to practice both. And that way you learn more about your anatomy. That's the first module. And then there's four modules more to come if you want to do a full 200 hour yoga teacher training. So feel free to sign up for one module or for more. I'll leave you the link below.